Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is David and this is my closet and here we talk about handbags, accessories, small other goods, all of those fun things from the male point of view and on a budget. If that's something that's interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. As you've heard me and all my friends here on YouTube say, I'm working really hard to grow my channel. And if you're new to YouTube or you're not a creator, subscriber count actually does impact our growth and our channel as well as interaction and such. So please comment on my videos, like them, share them, and please subscribe. If you like this kind of content, I would be forever grateful. I'm trying to hit my thousand mark so bad and I'm so close I can taste it. So I would be forever grateful. So today's unboxing, and I know I'm doing a lot of unboxings and I know that people are like, oh, I hate unboxings back to back. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not being smart right now. <laughs> so this is not my normal content, but lately there's just been quite a few. I'm trying to space them out, but there's a lot of things that are coming out and I won't lie, there's some really good buys in the pre-loved market right now. So I'm just snagging stuff up as I can get it. And this is no exception. This is actually a vintage coach item that I found on Poshmark. So what I'm gonna do is unbox it and then I'm gonna go over it. There's a little bit of history behind why I picked this. Not really history, but there's a reason. Um, and I'm gonna start off by saying thank you seller for putting it in a box. Now this is a fairly small item, so it would have fit in a mailer easily, but thank you so much because this prevents the mail people from shoving it in my mailbox and bending it up. It also protects it in transit. I'm opening this with you guys and I've also started doing this with anything I buy from Poshmark, eBay, etc. That way I have a video recording of me physically opening it. As you can see, it's completely sealed. Um, so that way if there's any issues and a seller gets kind of crabby, I can say, well, I can send you my video where I unboxed it. So let's go ahead here, open her up and we got some nice bubble wrap in there and some air paper. They really have this really well packaged. So thank you so much, seller. I'm gonna link their channel below or their Poshmark below. And it's also wrapped in tape 12. And inside of a plastic bag, which I love because if it rains and it gets left outside or even in the warehouse or the truck or anything, um, it protects your item. There's a card with my name on it, so I'm not gonna show just to prevent my full name, but there's a card. And here is the item in a dust bag too. Love this. And if I remember correctly in the photos, there is a logo that the seller has on like a tag. And I think this is the same seller that Autumn bought some things from, some vintage coach from. Oh, this is so cute. So the inside of the envelope is coach and actually it's coach stationery. It's very sweet. So they thanked me for my purchase and apologized for the shipping delay. I didn't notice a delay. So if you're watching this, don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> um, as you know, Poshmark wants sellers to ship things ASAP, preferably within two days. I think they give you up to like three or four days before they're like, hey, brah. And then I think day like five or seven, they cancel your order and refund the buyer. As a seller on Posh, I try to ship my ASAP, but things happen and we all know that. So here is a dust bag with the logo. Um, as you can see, it's a kitty cat. So I thought this was perfect. And like I said, Autumn definitely bought from this person too. Okay, I'm not gonna show you what's in this bag yet because it's gonna spoil, but um, this is just so well packaged. Like, oh my goodness, I am obsessed. So here is the seller's logo. If you ever see that on Posh, eBay, Macari, wherever they might sell. So the seller did say that they um, conditioned, cleaned, did all of those things to this item. So it does smell kind of like saddle soap and conditioner. So I think that's probably great. So here it is, and it's actually called the Coach Chunky Case. And they have it listed as navy. And I actually am wondering if it's black. I don't care either way, but it definitely looks more black to me. The colors are really hard to tell the difference. But as you can see, it's just a little cosmetic case here. And then they also have a remove the tag, keep the bag sticker. So maybe they do offer some sort of return. They also stuff it really well.
and then inside it does smell like cleaning products but these were cosmetic cases so I would expect that cosmetics were in here and I'm sure there were stains on it when it was you know found and before it was cleaned up so and it doesn't come out so I can't pull the lining out but you can see it's a little bit worn it does show some signs you know that it's been cleaned or maybe had something in there in the past it's just a little dingy but it's also old so I don't want to use that word but you can definitely tell but there's no major staining and like I said I don't smell anything outrageous I smell a little bit of cosmetic and then maybe some of the conditioner or cleaning products that was used um but I really like this it has the old school just silver or not silver brass coated I'm sure yeah um little o-ring and then here in this bag they have it looks like a dust bag from coach and they have a tag with the item description and then they also of course have the hang tag and here is the hang tag in a little separate baggie which again is amazing that they do that and this is where we will see the color because this is my navy court so the hang tag is definitely navy which I'm actually excited for because as you know my court didn't come with a hang tag and I don't really want a hang tag on the cosmetic case so I thought two birds one stone I now have a hang tag and it's swaying on the back so I don't know if it's a full hang tag but I don't care um so that's definitely navy but the cosmetic case to me it looks black and I will actually compare the hang tag to it it's very subtle um, like I said, I don't care either way. A black one is fine. A blue one is fine. These colors are very difficult to tell sometimes. But to me, it looks black compared to the blue bag. But it is what it is. So anyway, here is my court with the new hang tag. That then The hang tag definitely, like I said, is navy. So thrilled to have that. There is a little card. And it has the item details and some photographs. And it has all the information. Again, I'm not 100% sure of the color. I do think personally this is black and not navy. But they have it listed here as navy, brass hardware, the lining, the vintage uh, year 1990s. So somewhere in there. Um, kind of cute. Um, the Cat's Meow Vintage Coach Handbags and Restoration. Cat's me wow. So that's super, super cute. Dust bag that I don't think it'll fit in, but it's nice to have. So let me know what you guys think of this, if you've ever seen one of these. I saw this on TikTok for the first time. It's one of those creators that goes to thrift stores, they find Vintage Coach and they rehab it and they kind of film it and show, you know, a minute TikTok about the process. And she did one of these and it was the black one. And I've also seen a British tan one. And she just made it look like the perfect little catch-all pouch and I wanted it so bad. I really wanted it in British tan, black or navy. Um, it's just hard to find them. They are pricey. I probably paid more for this than I feel like I should have, um, but I mean, I couldn't turn it down. It was listed at 200, I think in $10, and I offered 275 or 175, 175, I didn't go up. Um, and they did accept it. I know that's a little high, but some of these vintage coach items are just more expensive than others. And seeing that this has been restored and does appear to be in good condition, there is some veining and wrinkling in the leather. But again, this is a vintage item and this is a cosmetic case. These are workhorses. These are not items that people sit on shelves. These are items that you put all your cosmetics in when you're on the go or when you travel. And we all know that travel bags take a beating. At least mine do. So I put some charcoal packs in it just to kind of help clear out some of that cosmetic faint scent that's left in cleaning products and it stuffs it a little bit. But here it is stuffed. It does say coach there. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I already know I probably paid a little bit of a premium, but I'm very excited and I'm not disappointed about the color. Like I said, this definitely is not navy, but I can see how that can be really easily confused because in some of these pieces especially if the other leather has darkened at all 
the navy does look black. I see them listed all the time. They list them as black, but in the photos they look navy and vice versa. So if you are buying vintage coach and those are your two colors, unless you want to try to return it and you're, you know, did set on a color, just always in the back of your mind, be willing to accept either color. So I don't want to get my filming station all set up again. Um, it's about two days later after I filmed the unboxing of this. And in the video I mentioned it looks black. Um, I do think it is blue. I messaged the seller and they were really nice. Um, and some of the stuff I already knew, but they kind of gave me some insight to it. And, you know, in some photos I could get it to look blue. And the, I did notice that the, the fabric on the zipper, I think it's nylon, um, does have a blue, blue hint to it. So I do think it is blue. It just has been darkened, I'm sure, at some point. Someone used a product on it that darkened it even more because it does not obviously match my court perfectly. Um, and supposedly they're the same color. But um, I am going to go ahead and keep it. Seller was great. Um, I did want to report back that. And I also wanted to do my cell phone test. So I told you guys I bought this like dummy iPhone and I put it in a case. This is the max size because um, this is a pouch that's actually much more big and mighty than you would think. So let me take the stuffing out real fast. Here's the max size iPhone. It doesn't fit in like straight, but if you put it in an angle and then drop it down, it will in fact fit. And there it is in there. It will zip up, but I wouldn't put much else in there. Um, but just so you guys know, it will fit a max size iPhone. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, I love that it's aged. It's super soft and squishy, super stretched out. Not to like the it's destroyed level, but stretched out enough where I don't have to worry about it. And this is going to make a great catch-all for some of my bags. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to the Cats Me Wow for this amazing item. I'm so excited to have this in my collection and I will see all of you on my next video. Bye guys.